Once you get to the AdPop3 account, go ahead and enter the fields which are required. Again, you've already gathered this information from your service provider. So, you need to first fill in the name of the POP3 provider. Put in your account name for your POP3 provider. Again, you don't need to put in the information after the at sign. And then you enter in the password that is used for your service provider. You can also select a specific icon to appear when uh, your email does arrive within Hotmail at EDU. I like red, so I'm going to choose the red icon here. There are a couple other fields you need to change as well. One of them is the port number. We use a specific port or channel to receive email from your third-party provider. For Yahoo and several other providers, that port number is going to be 995. The other fields can remain unchanged. Those are fine. You do have an additional option here, though if you want to use Hotmail at EDU to send email from this account, as well as receive email from this account, you can select this option as well. I'm going to leave it unselected. So with all these fields completed, click Save, and we'll get a validation message that all the fields have been added properly. Okay, so now that you've gone ahead and you've added the information for the account, you can go back to your inbox. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new inbox. And you can check for any new mail by clicking the check mail icon. And once you've done that, any new mail that has come in from your third party email provider will appear within your inbox. Plus, notice that the icon for each of these incoming emails is specifically indicated to show that it's coming from your third party provider.